Hi everyone and welcome to another vlog. The games room's now finished, it's carpeted, painted and looks amazing. And no, I'm not showing it at the moment, I'm going to do an unveiling and I'm thinking it's going to be around vlog 64. Uh, at the moment I'm currently um, connecting uh, consoles to network, um, mainly the Xbox 360 and uh, PS3, I'm doing those at the moment. I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek here and there and um, all the cables on the floor, it's absolutely insane. Now you may think this is a couple of day, uh, a job that lasts a couple of days, but it definitely is not. I'm working literally early hours of the morning, sometimes three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, and finishing around seven o'clock at night. Um, and then I'll enjoy probably an episode of Star Trek Next Generation and head off to bed. So it's almost like uh, working on the games room and the cinema room, I won't forget that. And again, that'll be part of the tour and, uh, and a bit of sleep uh, in between. So this here is the Netgear uh, 16 port switcher for all the consoles. Unfortunately, I'm out of the space with um, all the consoles that are connected online and I need a 24 port. Because I've got a lot of um, Xbox 360s and PS3, PS3s, and I also have um, uh, accumulated a few Xbox Ones. Um, so just when friends come over, we all play. So all these are wired, hardwired, and online. So yeah, need the switcher to, um, to manage all the data. All right, so it's a few days later, and um, we've just been putting games um, on the shelves and cataloging them. I've currently finished um, Xbox. 360, uh, PlayStation 3, actually all the PlayStations from 1 to 4. Um, that red section behind me, and I've purposely got it blurred out so you don't see too much, that's a Nintendo section, and that's going to be um, a, a lot of work. A lot of work. Anyway, we're going to have a look at um, what I'm doing in, as far as uh, TVs are concerned uh, with the CRTs and how I connect them up. Okay, so at the moment um, I'm doing a lot of wiring up. Um, and mainly I'm doing a lot of wiring when it comes to the TVs. Now all my TVs, except for one, um, have a SCART RGB input. Now for those who don't know what a SCART RGB input, that's a SCART plug. Um, and what it, the signal carries a sync, a ground, um, audio as well, but I don't go through uh, uh, audio when it comes to SCART. So sync, ground, red, green and blue. And um, Amiga's just tired to, uh, how's that? Live on camera, a guru meditation. That's interesting, uh, good old Amiga there. Um, it's, uh, anyway, going back to the SCART, red, green and blue, and it carries the best possible picture that you can get on a CRT, um, a standard CRT at that. Now these CRTs, um, as I said, all have SCART. These are Bang & Olsen's, these are an amazing amazing picture. They're quite expensive, made in Denmark, and you can clearly see the, the, the colour, the contrast, the brightness, and every pixel, there's no bleeding or blurry. Um, it's, it's, it's an amazing TV, really is. There is better, and I will show you that in a minute. However, there's no TV out there that can be better than a TV that carries RGB, simply because composite and S-Video um, are, just, are just inferior. All right, I'm down on the floor and I'm um, beginning to get going on a um, RGB cable for the Neo Geo. So I've just started, I've put in um, blue, um, which is the center pin on the DIN plug for the Neo Geo and the other um, uh, end is obviously the SCART end. So I'm gonna get work on to this um, Neo Geo cable. So as you can see here, I'm um, not only soldering them in, obviously, I'm adding heat shrink, um, just so they don't touch each other and so the shielding around it um, doesn't affect the uh, signal um, by touching it or um, shorting it out, because there's five volts there, obviously the video sync and the RGB itself. So you've got to be very careful um, when doing this. All right, so I finished a pin dim plug on the Neo Geo system. Um, that's all done, and I haven't tested it yet, but I'm sure it's going to work. Um, 
I know these pinouts like the back of my hand because it's the same as the Mega Drive and um, what was the other one? Mega, oh, Master System, of course. Um, a couple of systems, I'm sure, uh, use it. Um, some other applications. So we'll um, turn on the TV, and um, this is a blank book TV. This, in my opinion, is the best TV I own. It actually comes with the certification of calibration and convergence, where they check, basically, they just align uh, the screen to make sure the RGB is spot on. And uh, this is a, a 70 centimeter. The one here, this Grundy, is 80 centimeter. Uh, that's got an awesome picture, better than a Bang Olsen. However, um, not as good as this um, Blung Pook. Um, and yeah, the picture is just out of, out of this world, but I prefer a bigger picture when playing uh, Super Famicom or Super Nintendo and um, in the Mega Drive Genesis. Um, Dreamcast had sat on, on that TV, but um, this one is, is definitely a bigger bunch. That's why I put my Neo on here. It just seems to look a lot better, whereas the other consoles, not much of a muchness, only fractionally better on this one, and I prefer the size, obviously. All right, so rambling on, we'll get the Neo Geo, so plug in the 8 pin in on the back here. Connect the power. We'll see it in there just temporarily for now. Oop, headphone. And we should have that wonderful Neo Geo tone and an awesome picture. All right. And sorry about the glare um, with the sun coming in. I'm still waiting on um, blinds to be put up and they're probably a couple of weeks away. As you can see, the picture is absolutely crystal clear. It is, it is the same, if not better, than um, an, RJ, um, an arcade monitor. Well, unreal. Oh, I love it. So yeah, this is the this is it. This is the, the pinnacle, in my opinion. I've tried a lot of the commercial Sony's as well. The picture size is not um, terribly big. That's that's the only problem I have with them. And I just like the German TVs. This Blankpunk is, yeah, as I said, phenomenal TV. Going forever about it. All right, so we've done that. Um, that'll probably be it for this vlog. Um, I've shown enough, and I don't want to show too much more because, as I said, I am going to do a, a full tour of the room, and it's going to be pretty comprehensive. Um, and until next time, see you in the next vlog. Bye for now. <laughs>